Well, hello there. Welcome back to a brand new episode of everybody's favourite unboxing series, Luthery specific, tonewood focused unboxing extravaganza. This is Funboxing. So today, I'm very excited. We haven't done these for one of these for a while. And I have a heavy package and heavy equals good. Oh God. Yeah, listen to that. When the box has a great tap tone, you know you're in for a party. So today we have got a uh, very large package <laughs> from... <laughs> <laughs> we have got Phil Conway's large package on the bench. And um, yes, indeed, yes, sir. We have, I've got my trusty Swan Morton scalpel with a 10A blade. Phil, we need to sort out this uh, paper, this uh, plastic tape situation. We need to get you on a paper tape, biodegradable packaging train. We're almost there with the recycled cardboard, but... All right, holy shit. It's like a... It's like a buffet table here right now. And not a rubbish buffet, not like you know, party sausages and cold quiche. I'm talking like a luxury buffet at, uh, you know when you're a plus one at a fancy wedding and it's somebody you don't really know, but you go along anyway and I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, wow, lots of different things. Who knows where to start? Not me. Let's start at the beginning. Yeah, this is, a, this is the kind of package I'm talking about. Okay. Woo! Oh man, wow, wow, wow. I'm so excited, I'm just throwing stuff all about the place. I've also had about four coffees and my knees are about to give way. It's just, there's just too much excitement in one little tummy. Okay. Bindings. Ooh. We've got some treats in here as well, some unexpected treats, which is always fun. This is also an even more special delivery um, for reasons I'll get onto later. Just hold your horses there. Okay. Little bundle, little bundle. Look at this guy, these guys. Okay. So, you know me, I like to experiment with, with new woods, um, new and exciting things. And this first set is some Madagascar rosewood. But it's a different variety. It is not Dalberger Baroni. This is the most kind of common Madagascar rosewood that you would you would find. Um, Madagascar is one of the most biodiverse places on the planet, and uh, there are many wow many different types of Madagascar rosewood. This is now let me see if I can remember this. I've literally just pulled off the piece of tape, which told me what it was. But this is Dalberger Graviana, and um, this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, like I'm barely touching that. And that is ring ting. The whole thing is like vibrating. Now then, do we have any magic spray? Daniel, what did we do with the magic spray? I think it's just behind you there on the brilliant. If you could have kindly pass me that, thank you, sir. All right, let's do the do, let's do the thing. Oh, it's off, it's off. You left it in off mode. How could you do that to me? It was leaking. It's always a wow. That is beautiful. That is really, really beautiful. Get a good look at that, Danny boy. Getting that? Absolutely. Yeah. How lovely is that? Oh, and it's shimmery. It's glossy. 
The chatoyance on that is just absolutely delicious. Wow. I am, you know, um, Phil sent me, Phil is, a, is, a, is an expert salesman. And um, uh, he, he, he was like, oh, by the way, I've got some of this, um, this uh, lesser known Dalberga. Would you be curious to take a look? And when, when he sent me the pictures, I was kind of a little bit underwhelmed, but he assured me that it's good stuff and he was not wrong. This, this looks the biznit. Okay. Put that to one side. All right, next up, another brand, wow, that is, uh, that's got some mass. This is another new wood. This is an Australian wood. This is commonly known as Balar is a Casuarina Cristata and it is a inland uh, kind of eastern inland um, native to Australia very dense very hard let's get some magic juice on here actually let's, let's tap it first it's got a sound it's got a sound Oh yeah, oh that's beautiful. Really kind of honey brown with some kind of pinky, peachy tones running through there. Some really nice tight fiddle back. Yeah, what do you think to that Dan? Lovely. You like that one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Beautiful. I got some, um, I got some river red gum from Phil a few months ago and um, that was spectacular. And this has got a very similar kind of um, ultra tight fiddleback flaminess, beautiful. That is really gorgeous. Let's see if we can find the size. Oh yeah. Wow, it's, it's like glowing. It's got like an aura to it. It's like a purpley pink. Or well, maybe that's just because I've had too much coffee and it's the naphtha. I don't know, have you seen that? See yeah, what I mean? I see that, yeah. It's really cool, isn't it? All right, so there we go. Some Balar. Lovely, lovely. Oh, next up. Now I was doing some research on this wood. Now, uh, and uh, it's quite interesting. This is some ringed Gigi. Now I've been anxious to try this um, since uh, you may, have, you may have seen the work of Rye Bear, GR Bear Guitars, um, an Australian luthier based in uh, British Columbia. And he is a big advocate for Australian hardwoods and he's made some really beautiful guitars with Gigi, uh, amongst other things. And I've really wanted to get my hands on a set of this. This is, this isn't, this isn't Acacia. This is an Australian acacia, so same family as, wow, as things like cocoa, um, um, Tasmanian blackwood, and uh, I was trying to figure out how to pronounce the Latin this morning, and uh, we think it is uh, acacia cambagi. Did we settle on that? Acacia cambagi? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is uh, beautiful. Just look at the color of that without any magic juice on it. How lovely is that? Really nice sap on there as well. I'll try and uh, figure out a way to make that work. Really lovely, wow! Okay, okay. Yeah, boy, yeah, yeah, look at that. Oh, it's even better than I thought it was gonna be. Look at that. Getting it? Yeah. yeah? You like that? Look at that. That is, that's the real deal. No wonder Rye enjoys using this stuff. And uh, I'm glad to finally have a, have a set. There's a couple of little um, inclusions here, um, but we will, I've got a, a little sneaky little Tommy plan as to how we're gonna make those into a feature. So uh, this, apparently, Gigi, which is gonna, is gonna make life fun for me, is the third hardest wood in the world. 
um, according to the Janka scale of hardness. Now the Janka scale is, uh, is, a, is a test by which um, they, they measure, they basically shoot a steel ball into a piece of wood and measure how, how far it goes into the wood. So it's the, the, uh, the rating is how many pounds of uh, force are needed to drive a steel ball into a piece of wood up to half of its diameter. Um, and Gigi is the third hardest behind lignum vitae um, and another wood that I can't pronounce and won't even try. So it's harder than things like ebony, it's harder than African blackwood, it's harder than desert ironwood. Um, but it doesn't feel too heavy. It actually doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't really sound like much. But as we all know, um, sounds can be deceiving. And um, I'm pretty sure if Rise guitars are anything to go off, this is going to sound the dog's pajamas. Yeah. Just awesome color. Awesome color. So Gigi is uh, mainly found, it's an endemic tree to Australia. It's mainly found in Queensland. Um, in the kind of semi-arid and arid regions of Queensland, but it also, you can find examples up in the Northern Territories and it's in Southern Australia as well. But it's uh, mainly, it's like a, a desert tree, I guess. Um, super slow growth, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think this stuff comes originally from, from Curly Pete. If you're an Instagram uh, aficionado, um, Curly Timbers, I think it's Curly Timbers. Um, Curly Pete uh, in Australia is a, wonderful custodian for these these uh, timbers um, and a great lot of care goes into uh, managing the supply and uh, sustainable harvesting and all that kind of thing wonderful can't wait to build oh, th this is the problem i get i get all this wood and now i just instantly want to just start building with it and so i just have loads of you know projects constantly going um anyway it's a nice problem to have let's make some room Okay, so we also have um, some Amazon rosewood, uh, Dalberga spruciana. So not uh, not Brazilian rosewood, not Brazil, uh, not um, Dalberga nigra. This is a Dalberga spruciana, which is really gorgeous. And we've also got some matching head plates and bridge blanks here as well. Oh yeah, really great color again. Look at that. That's a taste of autumn right there. Really rich, deep chocolate brown, but not dull. It's really like iridescent. That's gorgeous. Almost some like velvety kind of lilac colors going through there. Gorgeous. I won't say, you know what? I'm gonna take this off. I am gonna take this off. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, man, that's gonna be lovely. That is gonna be lovely. Yep. Okay, so, what's this? Ooh, nice, wow. Phil's also thrown in some, some treats. We've got a whole ton of um, Spruciana binding stock. So I'm going to use this a lot on my rosewood guitars, my Brazilian rosewood guitars, and this is really beautiful, nice and straight grained. Fantastic. Lots of sanding and uh, applying a purfling. Might, might get you to do that, Dan. Yeah. Yeah, put you on the power tool. Okay. So I was chatting to Phil uh, whilst I was spending all my money with him, and we decided that it might be fun to, uh, to run a little giveaway, a little, a little contest um, to win some, some woods, some sets. And so Phil has sent me um, some really beautiful woods, which I'm gonna dive into now. Um, and these are all native, they're all British hardwoods. So let's see what we've got. We have got some Juglans Regia, which is also known as English Walnut. That's right, Dan. <laughs> One of the kings of uh, British hardwoods. 
just the most exquisite wood, one of our national treasures. One of my favorite woods when I was cabinet making, just effortless to work with, smells beautiful, takes a finish amazingly, um, and it's a great tone wood as well. Lots of fantastic builders use walnut, I love it. And uh, this looks like it's gonna be a really nice set if I can get into it. I'm shaking like a little, a little leaf with all the excitement. Oh yeah, oh boy. Look at that. Oh, oh, I flipping love English walnut. It is just, oh God. It is wonderful, wonderful stuff. It's understated, but the quality of the timber is just mesmerizing. The grain structure is just wonderful. Let's give this a little blast. Oh, this is really nice. I almost don't want to give it away. Um, but that's going to give you a better idea of the, the colors getting carried away. Look at that. It's got some of the really lovely pink in it. Sometimes walnut can look pretty washed out and gray, but this is, this is really nice. That really lovely, rich kind of gray brown with some of the orangey pink in there as well in the sat wood. And how cool is that? How cool is that detail in the sat? That shape there. Those lines are just lovely. Beautiful. And here are the sides as well. Yeah, really, really nice. So we have some English walnut, but wait, there's more. We have some English Bramley apple, Malus domestica. And it smell. the thing about this is it smells like apples. I feel like Mr. Pip Mr. Pipling, Mr. Kipling. Oh, it smells like apples. Who doesn't love wood that smells like apples? Look at that. That's nice. Really, really quite, uh, quite subtle, but some really lovely color in there as well. I'm gonna need to top up and that'll give you an idea of the color. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Beautiful, Malus domestica, English Bramley apple. Smells like apples. Looks like a golden crusted apple crumble. It's just come out of the oven. Really nice sides there as well. Keeps the doctor away. It does apparently, yeah. And. Next up, another one of my favorite UK hardwoods, a beautiful um, cabinet grade wood. Again, really wonderful to work with. Oh, this, oh man. We've got some really lovely, oh, the color in that is gorgeous. Some English sycamore, Acer Pseudo Platinus. So not to be confused with um, American plane or American sycamore. This is uh, pseudo platinus, like a plane tree. This is English sycamore. Almost looks like ash. Beautiful. Look at that color. It's a really rich orangey honey. And that grain is so cool. You like that? Wonderful. English sycamore, gorgeous. Nice little bit of ripple in there as well and some nice sides too. So, oh, and we are, but wait, there's more. Oh goodness me, this is so exciting. We've got a couple of fingerboard, fing, fingerboard blanks. Now this I've never even heard of. Monterillo, uh, Brownia macrophilia. I'll have, to, I'll have to Google that. Monterillo. I'm wondering if it's maybe like a South American wood. Let's 
So that, we've got that in the giveaway. That is beautiful, really nice tight grain, quarter sawn, and we have some Palfara, whose scientific name I'm not going to try and pronounce. Well, Phil's kind of written a, this one in here. Macarium scleroxylon. Scleroxylon. Okay, okay, scleroxylon. <laughs> scleroxylon. Macarium, ah, oh, fuck it, whatever. Um, Powfarer. This has uh, been used a lot in recent years as a rosewood replacement. And it's easy to see why. Again, really nice straight grain. Great colour. Some kind of purpley browns in there. Some kind of dark inky lines as well. So there we go. So we have some Madagascar rosewood. We have some Balar. We have some ringed Gigi from Australia. We have some English sycamore. We have some English Bramley apple. We have some English walnut. We have some Palfera and we have some Monterillo. And we have some Amazon rosewood as well. So we are going to be doing a giveaway. So keep your eyes, eyes, keep your eyes, keep your eyes peeled. Keep them open. Put some little matchsticks in there. Keep them open. And we're going to be doing a little giveaway post um, with details of how to enter to win some English walnut, some English apple, some English sycamore. And then we're going to have some runner up prizes for these two guys as well. So thank you to Phil at Conway Tonewoods uh, for your wonderful package. I was very pleased to receive it. And um, I'm gonna try very, very hard not to start building guitars out of all of these things immediately. So I hope you've enjoyed this jam-packed, very exciting episode of Funboxing with me, Tom Zanz. I need to go and have a little sit down. I think Dan's arms are about to fall off um, from holding the camera. So until next time, peace out, yo.